I picked up rubbish <laughs> off the street. My friend came over once and said, have you seen these new cameras? And I really wanted to learn visual effects. Just learn every day, like when I got home from work, just doing that, learning it. And then I entered a competition of like, I think 300 people or something entered. Mm -hmm. And I came to like second or third, I can't remember exactly, in the competition, the filmmaking competition, short film. I started shooting some friends bands, filming about friends bands. Ended up working with, you know, big, like Sony and Universal um, and Gibson and big, big brands like mm. that and big bands. And it kind mm. of just went from there. And I think the visual effects side of things is what helped with that. Mm. And they started hiring me as a DOP on their films, mm -hmm. um, moving into feature films. And then after that, I ended up moving to direct my own feature films. I inevitably became a bin man and uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I picked up rubbish off the street and, uh -huh. uh, that's what I did for five years and uh -huh. as a creative I'm not knocking it you know I think it's a great job but as a creative it kind of drove me mad and I just wanted to be doing something creative and uh, I was kind of getting very down very, very depressed in my life because I was just you know picking up rubbish mm -hmm. and I was like is there's got to be more to life than this is this the career path I want to be doing and you know, I was progressing a bit in, in the council and picking up the bins and stuff. Mm. And I was like, this is not the direction I want to be going. And then um, I was unfortunate enough, fortunate enough to uh, inherit some money off of my uncle um, who left me a very, you know, a small amount that I could buy a camera with. Mm. Um, my friend came over once and said, have you seen these new cameras? Um, they're... they're Canon DSLRs, basically, which was like the first time you had like changeable lenses on like mm -hmm. an, a, a, well, an affordable it, well, camera. What year was it? Oh, year 2012, 2011 to 2012. So mm -hmm. it was the 550D had kind of come out. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I bought a 600D, it was my first camera. Um, and I was amazed by the quality you could get because before that it was like, Two, three thousand pounds to get anything even close mm -hmm. to that kind of quality where you could get this for like 350 pounds. So mm. I ended up buying that and I bought a copy of Adobe um, Creative Cloud so that, and I really wanted to learn visual effects because I love like big blockbusters with mm -hmm. effects and space movies and stuff like that. So um, it's kind of the route I went and just, just learned every day, like when I got home from work, just doing that, learning it. And then I entered a competition of like, I think 300 people or something entered. Mm -hmm. And I came to like second or third, I can't remember exactly in the competition. It was a filmmaking competition, short film. Yeah, yeah. I thought, well, maybe I've got something here. Well, obviously I can't make movies. So what's my next love is music. So mm -hmm. um, I started shooting some friends bands, filming about friends bands. And then after my third friends band that I filmed, um, I got asked to do this other like lyric video, but I ended up filming it and making the lyrics incorporated into the film side of things for a band um, called Sacred Mother Tongue that were on Universal at the time. Mm. And then after that, I kind of started doing more work on Universal and kind of picking up and ended up working with, you know, big like Sony and Universal um, and Gibson and big, big brands like mm. that and big bands. And it kind mm. of just went from there and I think the visual effects side of things is what helped with that. Mm -hmm. After doing that for a bit, I kind of still had this passion to make films. Um, so I ended up making a short film called Exit Plan, which is a sci-fi mm -hmm. uh, short film. Um, ended up funding it myself and directing and uh, kind of went that route. And yeah, it was okay for the first thing, you know, <laughs> it's never as good as you want it to turn out, but it was a good starting process into the film industry and that. And then a couple of friends like Patrick Ryder and Mark Zamet saw that and they started hiring me as a DOP on their films, mm -hmm. um, moving into feature films. And then after that, I ended up moving to direct my own feature films. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But basically uh, all your education as DOP and director, like it's you're, you're self-taught, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you use to, to basically to find the knowledge? Just YouTube? There's quite a few things. Um, I obviously I went to the uh, the visual effects route, so I spent a lot of time studying uh, Andrew Kramer's tutorials on Video Copilot and using a lot of their plugins. I still use a lot of their plugins um, mm -hmm. for what I do, um, and that helps. I have become very anti-education as far as mm -hmm. um, as far as creativity goes. I've, I've you know I've got a degree and I've got 
a lifetime's worth of debt <laughs> for a degree that means nothing to me and I'm not very good, I'm not as good at that as being yeah, self-taught at yeah. film and stuff like that. So, and that was completely self-taught. And yeah, you make mistakes. First few shoots, it, you know, I didn't realize I had my diffusers on backwards mm -hmm. on my lights and you get told and people point and you, you learn as you go and you just, but learning in the field on the job, I think is a thousand times more productive mm -hmm. than learning in a classroom.